everyone, it's Joe here from GeoArm Security. Today I want to teach you guys how to program in a Honeywell 5821 multi-purpose environmental sensor into an L7000. All right. On this sensor, if you notice up on top, there's a little flat area to put your screwdriver and pop the cover open. You're going to notice your serial number is right here, and then the two screw terminals which you're going to wire into, right here. There's no polarity, meaning there's no positive or negative, so you don't have to worry which wire is on which. Once you have that wired up, you're also going to notice in here it's kind of hard to see there's dip switch settings. All right. So again, I mentioned this is a multifunctional. You can do high temp, low temp, warm, cold, flood freezing or combinations of both so depending on what you're setting it up for it'll tell you how to set those dip switches in the manual and it'll also tell you what loop number to set it to which we'll show you in programming so after you've got it wired up you're going to place your battery in put the cover back on then what we're going to do is again we're wiring this up for flood sensing this here are the water prongs that gets wired up to it You'll notice there's two holes on the side, that's for mounting purposes, and the two screw terminals on top are where your wires are going to land. Also there's going to be a resistor that has to be placed in parallel along with these two screw terminals which I'll show you. So all you're going to do on the screw terminal, you're going to do one, two, okay. Now your resistor, which comes in the package, is going to go in parallel, meaning it's going to go between the both. So we're going to put one on here and the other on here. Once you have that in between the two, you're going to tighten it down. It doesn't have to be over tightened, just snug. If you tighten it down too much, you will break the wires and or the resistor, so you don't need to really crank it. So now you have your resistor in place, your wires in place. This will get mounted to whatever location, if you were putting it in the basement or an air handler room, something where you uh, might have a condition that you might have water. All right. Now on your panel, we're going to get into programming. On the bottom right of your panel, you're going to hit more and tools, 4112, which is the default installer code. And we're going to go under program zones we're going to program this in as the first zone so it's number two you're going to edit over here is where you're going to put your serial number after you have your serial number in you're going to hit done now again the loop number that goes here is going to determine whether you're doing temperature flood so on and so forth so again you're going to have to make sure you uh, read the manual to see which loop number and it's going to be loop number three I believe for flood sensing then what we're going to do is device type we're going to set this up as environmental okay and now your zone description so wherever you were going to have this device placed you can go ahead and put that right in here basement all right so we have our serial number our loop number environmental you're going to click on the bottom right save all right, so right now we have it enrolled. If you wanted to add any other more contacts, we're in the menu to do that. Otherwise, just back out, back out, and always yes to allow installer to re-enter programming. All right, so that is how to install a Honeywell environmental sensor of 5821 into an L7000. If you have any questions or comments, please down below. Otherwise, give us a call at one 877 4 or visit us on our website at www.geoarm.com. Thank you.